hi guys welcome back to my channel um today's video is just gonna be as you can tell by the title a bit different i just wanted to share my personal experience at sephora i've been shopping at sephora for years since i was in college and recently just this past summer i became like a, a part-time temporary worker for one of their locations and i did get some questions from people asking like are you still working for sephora like how was your experience how did that go um and as of right now i'm no longer with sephora no longer affiliated with them as a temporary employee or as anything and i just wanted to share my experience now right off the bait like right out the gate i don't want this to be like a bashing sephora video uh don't sue me sephora i'm not going to be naming names i'm not going to be naming locations i'm just sharing my experience let me preface this by referencing another video first off i the first ever experience i had at sephora was not a positive one <laughs> it was not i tell the whole story in the video where i talk about my first eyeshadow palette ever i'll throw that up in the cards if you do want to hear that but um overall first experience was really not good um some really rude employees um very very condescending and just overall made me afraid to go back to the store for a long time now after that happened I shopped online for a long time and then I got back into actually going into stores. Now that was after I moved. I don't think I ever actually went back to that same Sephora unless I was with somebody. So anyway, so that was my first experience of Sephora as a whole. The next few years were fairly uneventful. Um, I had heard stories from friends that had very bad experiences at Sephora but they're so dependent on location and staff so it, it, that's it's hard to say oh it's a sephora thing because really it's not it's a location thing which is what i'm focusing on here fast forward to this past summer um there's a sephora nearby that was looking for um like just cashiers just like some part-time people to help out during the summer and i went through a fairly lengthy process it was like two phone interviews an in-person interview and then they finally said okay you got it um you can come in for training at like 7 a.m on this day i had to take a day off of my regular job to go in for um, a full day of training it wasn't really that much training so much as they just kind of throw you in but sometimes that's the best way to learn is just to learn on the job so that was all fine but during the onboarding process they kept saying how many hours are you looking to work like it seemed like they really wanted a lot of hours out of you and they wanted more days and because i had a regular you know day job i said okay so i can work weekdays after a certain time because i'd have to get off my regular job come over commute get here and then just work you know two hours until the store closed or i could do all day saturday and sunday how many hours that you want the managers they don't call them managers what do they call them store leaders i already forgot <laughs> but uh, essentially the managers kept saying like are you sure you can do all those hours like we really want someone to do these hours but is that going to be too much for you like almost like they were trying to um it's uh, trying to figure out like the best way to put it it sounded like not like they were scaring me, but they were saying like, oh, we just want to make sure you can actually like devote all these hours. And I was like, yeah, I'll do Saturday. I'll do Sunday. Just give me the hours. Tell me when to show up. I should mention that the store that I got the position at was a brand new store. So we were onboarded like the week it was like opening. One of like my first shift outside of that, you know, five hour training shift was like the grand opening party um it was crazy it was hectic it was fun but it was busy and that was like a friday at that point i hadn't actually been put onto like their scheduling software yet we had a lot of issues with paperwork and um getting me scheduled my original paperwork i don't think was ever done correctly because the offer letter that they sent me didn't say temporary employee 
the offer letter just said part-time employee and I think that was an issue I remember having to go back and forth on that quite a bit so anyway after all that said and done I work that one shift and then I don't hear from them for a couple weeks and it was at that point where like I had cleared my weekends and I was like I was planning to work every weekend because you know I have the time I really wanted to do it I could have used the money you know I was ready but not a peep <sighs> finally um I actually go into the store and talk to them and they said that it's been like a really slow summer and that they're not really scheduling people that much and at that point I was thinking oh so really you just were looking for cashiers just for that one grand opening event which I would have been fine with if they had just said that and they hadn't been implying the whole time like we need you to work every weekend we need all these hours from you it, it was just misleading very very misleading um but I understand that it's retail I have worked in retail before I understand how that scheduling works and that it can be kind of messy and sometimes people fall through the cracks and eventually I just fell through the cracks I was waiting to get scheduled again I got scheduled for like two more shifts weeks later and I worked those two shifts for just a couple of hours they went fine um, and then I got scheduled for a weekend where like I said I couldn't work and I didn't realize that they had put me on the schedule until like I think the day before and so I had to call out for that one and then I was just never scheduled again and I never heard from anybody at the store um, at that point I didn't go to the store because I was just like checking the app saying like am I gonna get scheduled again I kept checking every week and nothing I would never heard from them I had I did change my phone number I got a new cell phone but I made sure that I gave the managers my numbers during my last shift and pretty sure like they just lost it and so I'm I don't know if this is true but they said that they had been texting my old number trying to get me to work or asking about things but they also had my address and they had my email address and I never heard anything through there so I, unfortunately like I said I just fell through the cracks so that was a few months ago and I hadn't heard from them or worked or even gone there until just a couple of days ago um this Sephora isn't too far from where I now currently have my regular full-time job and I really wanted to see if I could get the new ABH palette and so I walk into the store majority of the people there don't even remember me or recognize me which is fine like I only worked a few shifts um but the, the one store manager did and she recognized me and she goes oh I've been trying to get a hold of you like I'm really sorry about what happened um normally that doesn't happen people don't fall through the cracks like that and so she was offering me like one of the free like perk facials just because she was upset with how my situation had turned out and she was very very nice and she actually was asking me if I would be willing to come back just to work a few weekends you know for the holidays um so like a few weekends in November some in December and I really wanted to I thought that would have been nice I'd like to that it was uh, more transparent and that she's like hey we really only need people for a couple of weekends you're already trained you're already in the system so you could come back she sent me a calendar with all the dates and said you know give it a few days think about it let me know and at that point I I had a really positive opinion of it I was like this is great like understand people are human mistakes happen people just fall through the cracks like I get it so that happened on Tuesday this past Tuesday fast forward to Friday Friday I went to my boyfriend's house he lives right next to a mall that has a sephora so i hadn't gotten the sultry palette because it's so yeah so rewind i couldn't get the sultry palette because it wasn't available in store until friday and i was like okay well friday i'm gonna see my boyfriend anyway i can just pick it up at that other sephora because it'll be there in store so i get to the mall and i'm barefaced and i well i had like eyeshadow on but this is how it looked just bare face and I go into the Sephora and it's fairly empty which is nice like I like it when it's empty because you can just like look around people ask if you actually need help or anything so 
I'm looking around, I find the Sultry palette, and I see they have a full Charlotte Tilbury display, which is perfect. That's really what I wanted. I wanted to look at some of the products. I've never tried the brand before. So I figured, you know, I'm getting the Sultry palette, and I'm probably going to get one thing from Charlotte Tilbury. That'll kick me up around 75 for that facial. And I came in bare-faced because either I was going to try to get a facial or I was going to try to match a foundation, which is just, you know, easier when you don't have any makeup on. Um... So I ask one of the employees, um, hey, so I'm going to spend over the amount needed to get this facial. Uh, I didn't see any appointments online, but they don't let you book the day of online. But I looked yesterday and I saw it was like all open. So I said, oh, well, I'm going to spend this much money. Is there any way that I could do that facial as a walk-in? Because the website said, like, please, you know, walk-ins are welcome. And she goes, yeah, yeah, sure. Let me just go check on something real quick. So I'm looking at the Charlotte Tilbury section, keeping myself busy. Almost like 15 minutes goes by and I'm starting to like get a little bored but I don't want to leave the section because like what if she comes back looking for me and I'm not there like that's kind of rude. Um, so looking at like the same thing over and over I'm debating about what Charlotte Tilbury product I'm going to get. Um, I ended up really wanting to get this eyeshadow quad that I saw. It was all green and I'm like oh Charlotte come on. It looked nice. So 15 minutes goes by, um, I catch another employee who was working somewhere else and I said, I'm sorry, someone just, you know, was hoping to check on my perk facial. Could someone go check on her? Because it's been almost 20 minutes and, you know, if I can't get it, it's fine. I just, I don't want to keep waiting around, you know, it's, it's a long time to wait. And she goes, oh yeah, sure, 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 let me go get her. So she goes into the back, gets the first employee. The employee comes out and goes, I'm so sorry, let me go grab the skincare consultant or whatever. Um, so she leaves again. <laughs> so that's two employees at this point. She comes back and says, okay, so you need to go check out first and you need to show your receipt to the woman at the skincare counter and then you can get your facial there. And I was like, cool, awesome, thank you so much. I go up to the cashier and I'm like, oh, hi. So I just wanted to make sure I had over 75 because I suck at math. Um, so I could do the facial. I ended up spending, excuse you, car. I ended up spending over 100 makeup. I bought like three things. So I'm at the cashier. I said, you know, I'm, I'm just going to get that facial. I think it's really cool, blah, blah, blah. So that's three employees that have seen me barefaced knowing that I wanted to get this facial, right? This, this will come in so i buy everything i get my bag i go over to the skincare section and there's a woman like stocking stuff a few aisles down so um i'm just kind of standing there with my receipt and the woman who was stocking turns around and she goes can i help you and i'm like yeah i was hoping to get the facial i've got my receipt and she goes oh so you're the one like really rude <laughs> really rudely it was just like oh so you're the one okay yep so i show her my receipt she like studies it to make sure i actually spent the money and she goes okay you can put your stuff down and take a seat cool okay whatever first impressions aren't that great sometimes so i put all my stuff down i put the receipt back in i take a seat she looks at me and she goes oh so you have acne and i was like okay this is how my face is. This happened yesterday. So my face didn't change too much since yesterday. I've got a few bumps, but nothing like open. Okay. Um, and she said, okay, well, I can't do the facial. You've got acne. And I was like, what? <laughs> I mean, I'd come into the store, talked to three employees, waited half an hour you know bought the right amount of stuff and she goes yeah well i can't do i can't do the facial on you because you've got acne um and i was like okay so no one none of the other employees could have told me this while i was waiting and she goes yeah well it's just policy i can't do it and i'm like okay um but like at that point i was a little bit frustrated having to wait that long i already bought the extra stuff to make it over the $75 that you have to spend to get the facial because originally I was just gonna buy you know the sultry palette But I was there Charlotte Tilbury was there. I was like, you know what? Just pick it up And get the facial. It'll be a nice day. I said so no one else could have told me I, I talked to three other people trying to schedule this and none of them could have said oh, you can't actually do it because You've got acne and she said 
well, how are they supposed to know? And I said, well, they all saw my face. If it's really as bad as you said, shouldn't the employees know? Like, do you see what I'm getting at? Like, why would three separate employees be like, yeah, sure, okay, she's gonna get the facial, she's gonna do this. And then just to be get to get there, having already spent the money and be told, oh, you've got acne, I can't do it. <sighs> okay. So at that point, I was like, well, they saw my face. I had three other employees see my face. And at that point, she just went, mm. Like she was just giving me, oh my God. I, and it was at that point where I was like, you know what? I, I don't care. I'm just gonna leave, like this is fine. And she goes, oh, well I could do the facial, but I have to avoid this area. I'm like, okay, so what is it? Are, can I get the facial or can I not? Am I, I just wanted not a crazy amount of attitude and just to be told what could happen, you know? And that's not an unreasonable expectation. <laughs> from a service um but at that point i was embarrassed i was frustrated and so i was like okay you know what i'm sorry but i'm just gonna leave now i'm just gonna leave so i just walk out um i call my boyfriend who was at the, under the store in the mall so he comes over while he comes over i walk upstairs to the mac counter because they have a mac store in there and um i just had them put a full face of makeup on because <laughs> i felt a little bit embarrassed a little bit uh teary-eyed a bit so uh, the woman at Mac sidebar was so nice and shade matched me really well. I'm not a, I'm actually closer to an NC25 and not an NW25. Um, but she did a full face. I tried out a new foundation. I tried out some powder. Um, so I ended up getting a foundation, a powder from Mac instead. And I say instead because once my boyfriend finished and we met up at the Mac counter, um, I had him return everything for me from Sephora because I didn't really need it and I didn't like the way that I was treated. <laughs> and I was too embarrassed to go back into the store, legitimately, like I didn't want to see anybody. So he took the bag, he took my wallet, returned everything, um, no problems, and then we left. So it was the combination of what had happened, because I got flashbacks to like my first time at Sephora when this happened. So it was a combination of that first time how my employment went there and how that last experience went that really pushed me to say you know what I don't think not even think I don't really want to work there I don't really need it anymore because at this point I don't know if people have noticed this channel just got monetized I haven't been paid out yet by YouTube but looking at the last month of, you know, AdSense, I made a little bit more in one month on YouTube than I did with every shift that I ever worked at Sephora. And I love YouTube. And I would rather take my time and my energy and put more into my channel and get a little bit back that way than to push myself to work at the Sephora. Because at this point, I know people always complain that Google AdSense and YouTube ads aren't reliable, but at this point, that's more reliable than the Sephora gig. So that's where we left it. I officially turned down the offer to come back to Sephora yesterday and no longer... It's at the point where I'm probably not going to shop in store anymore. If anything, I'll just stick to shopping online. Um, but it really made me just rethink Sephora which is bad for me to say because I know like I said it's not a Sephora problem it's like a people problem <laughs> so I can't really blame the whole company for a few bad experiences that I had but again I don't want to hide the fact that I had these experiences just talking about it like this has helped me a lot because that I mean it was a it's a rough week all together like I had other stuff going on this just kind of piled on top of it but even just talking about it and sharing my experience has made me feel a lot better <laughs> and I just also wanted to answer those questions about what happened when I worked at Sephora you know how it was and just to answer the question do you still work there with no no I do not so thank you guys for listening to this bit of a rant um Again, this is just my experience. This is not me 
bashing Sephora. This is just talking about what happened to me. So please don't see me. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video which will be back to our regularly scheduled makeup programming. Bye.